Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to set up and install Verco's modified and upgraded Radiant. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you close out of everything Mod Tools related. Launcher, Ape, Radiant, anything. Next, we're going to download VK Radiant from DevRaw. You can find the link in the description below. Once opened, you will see that we have a standard, ultra dark, and a readme text. Next, let's go to our Black Ops 3 root folder. From here, you're going to want to choose which Radiant version you want, either Standard or Ultra Dark. I personally like Standard, so I'm going to open that up. And we're going to select all the folders here and just drag them into our root. This window will pop up asking if we want to replace the files. Make sure to do it. Next, let's open Launcher. Once we're in Launcher, let's open up Radiant. And we're going to also open up Ape to see everything that has changed. The biggest thing that was changed in Ape was just the surface type on materials. When creating new materials, if you come up to here, you'll always see that the original default surface material type is error. That is no longer the case, it is now defaulted to none and you will no longer get errors if you set up materials incorrectly. Now we're in Radiant. First let's look at the world spawn. To get this, just click N on your keyboard to bring up the entity info without anything selected. You can see here that we have rope material under entity. This is your common default rope material when setting up rope entities. In grading, we now have a drop down for LUT materials. So we have Treyarch LUTs, Common LUTs, Verco's LUTs, Zella's LUTs, My LUTs, and general LUTs that have been created over time. You're also given access to 16 custom LUTs if you want to set up that many. V Bloom also gets a drop down now with all stock V Blooms available to us in the tools. V Color also gets the same exact treatment. Next, if you come down to Umber, you can see that these are now available. Umber's smallest hole is the smallest hole that Umber can see. The smallest hole number can go down to a minimum of four. And Umber's smallest occluder is the smallest occluder that Umber can see. The minimum number can go down is 16. Note that changing your Umber KVPs will fix common issues such as glitches or brushes or models that don't appear in game but will in Radiant due to Umber not being able to see it. This will fix that but it will also take Umber convert much much longer than normal. Next if we create a volume decal you will see that we now have blending enabled. We can now edge feather on the X, Y, and Z axis. In our light KVPs, shadows are now enabled by default. Far edge is now 0.25 by default. And the radius is now 250 by default. If we create a reflection probe, our resolution can now go up to 16x. And that's pretty much the general basis of VK Radiant. There is a huge other list of various quality of life fixes, tweaks, and the like. But honestly, these are just the major ones that you need to know. And that's it. Alright, that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you found anything useful and I was able to help you today, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Thanks for watching and have a good one.